And now to finish with the final philosophy, democratic participant philosophy. The democratic participant philosophy basically says that <clears throat> because of new media, specifically the cell phone and the laptop and the tablet, because of those, people can now participate in government and in business operations of media much more than they ever could. You could post a YouTube video today that might be seen by thousands or millions of people by the time it makes its run. That would be unusual, but it is possible, right? Same thing goes for getting your word out across social media. So why can that power not be harnessed into actual decision-making in government more than just giving you the, the, the possibility of going to a ballot box once a year or once every two years? And that's what democratic participant philosophy is, is all about. It grows up actually out of another academic. His name is Jay Rosen. He's out of New York University, still, still an active professor. And he basically focused in on the fact that, that there were groups of people in American society, we call them disenfranchised groups. These are groups of people that had been kind of lost from the system, lost from the ability to participate because they're poor or they're disabled or they have really minority opinions, <clears throat> or they're very young, right? These are all reasons that people don't participate. And so this philosophy, <clears throat> excuse me, this philosophy says that we need to allow for citizens to participate in citizen journalism or citizen advocacy and to be able to use the power of their phones and their laptops to create pressure groups to create startup companies that then are contributing to the overall landscape of media content, not just having ABC, CBS, Disney, et cetera, dominating everything that's available to us, having alternative, alternative voices, essentially. That's why we have WESS Radio at East Stroudsburg University to, to create an alternative voice, something that you wouldn't hear on, on almost anywhere else you go by virtue of the fact that most media are making money. And as we know from our globalization chapter, making money, at least at a global scale, often uh, involves minimal risk taking. So on radio, for example, you're not gonna hear artists unless they're proven artists that have been signed and that are charting. It's the nature of radio. So college radio can provide that kind of democratic citizen um, partic democratic participant philosophy as well. It, this one is really, really in a young form. That's about the most that I have for you. But we, we know it's going to develop, right? We know that that when, when all is said and done, social media have to be a, an integral part of whatever philosophy that we approach our media system with because it's given the person so much control, right? You can go right now on, on your phone and you can say, hey, I want to see that, that play from the Super Bowl that was so exciting. And you can find it a bunch of times and, and you can find memes around it and you can find audio from it. And the power that people have today to go get what they want and to contribute back in the media landscape because of our media is, is astounding and it's only gonna become more intense. So that's all I have for you today. Have a great day.